Hi friends, today I want to show how to use Synfire with contact instruments. Yeah, okay, here we have Synfire and um, there is nothing at the moment, so it's a fresh start. First we go to the wrench and we are here in the settings and we are going to the global rack. So uh, by default, here is the um, standard instrument by um, Synfire. That is not what we want today. So first we have uh, to open here the rack module and we see our uh, VST libraries here, instrument VSTs, VSTs. So, but of course, first you have to scan them. That means um, they have to be in the right um, folder. If you're looking for that, you can also do this here in audio scan, install plugins. It will ask you also for the folders that needs to be scanned. So back to the rack. Then I'm looking here in VST3 and we take, if I find it, contact seven, somewhere it must be, here it is. Okay, I drag and drop it inside the rack. So it's loading. Okay, so now we have contact loaded, but if you know contact, the default, there is no instrument. So we open this and you'll see there's nothing. So what we are going to do is we will add three things. So I have here arc two and first I add a piano, drag and drop. Then let's see something else here from orchestra section. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. oh, this is, uh, this, it's a folder still. Okay. So Let's take this one and another one. Okay, we can already have uh, a look to the instruments here with the keyboard of contact. See, that's the piano. Oh no, I have to focus here. You already see they all have a different play range that will be important soon. So then here, okay, very nice. So, um, but Sunfire doesn't know those things. The first important part here is to understand at the moment how we did this here. There's another way, but this way is that we use um, different channels. So this is on channel one, two, three. Of course you can change the channels, but when we dropped in those um, instruments, it automatically increased the channel number. So channel one, two, three. So we can keep this open. That makes us easier for the next step. So um, then we are here in global device description. Because as I said, Synfire doesn't know about those instruments yet. And what we are going to do now is create a new one. And here we have different kind of selections. And yeah, we have fixed channels. So I can use this. So I can name this and say contact two, for example. And then we go here to the channels and so we give first a name up ah, here. That is not by double click. We have to name it here. So this is piano source. Thanks. Now you know, I uh, understand uh, so, why I left this open. Yep. And we have to assign a category. So um, that is not nice. Okay, we'll pause. I don't know what this, uh, why this crashed, but let's see. Okay, I just clicked continue. I have no idea if it's still working as it 
good so i select selection piano uh, acoustic piano so it is assigned so um now the next one channel two here you see on the left side the channels and i give it the name of what's called string i speak that's a nice word speak T C M long word. Okay, and so what could fit? So far, I don't know how, if we can adjust those um, areas as well. I'm not sure. Never needed it. So, however, I will select string uh, pizzicato for the group type. The next one. Here I will give it the name Strings Low O. Uh, it's not sure if hmm. so. Ah, there is there seems to be a bug. So, Rene from Sunfire, maybe you want to have a look on it. I don't know. So, okay. I select string so be you now okay it's up to you we'll just select so I will select pizzicato as well here but yeah could be also maybe contrabass I'm not sure okay so uh here I add strings plural strings so okay uh, at the moment if we go here to the programs and we see nothing. It's still empty. But now we can transfer by right clicking and say copy sound to user bank. So I do this and then we see it's listed here. Do the same with all of them. So and here it is. So if I like to select strings, so or piano, it's in there. You see? Okay. Fine, so that is the most important step. Um, first step. But what about the ranges? Ranges is an issue here. And yeah, okay, normally you can now auto select it. And that is something, uh, I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, because this symbol must be enabled. And I'm not sure why it's uh, sometimes it's working sometimes not I, I have no idea why so let me quickly pause the video and uh, then i think i simply try to restart the application yeah i found um the issue it was my fault because i dragged and dropped um or used the wrong the wrong one from this list when i started editing so the wrong one was selected here and uh, so i did everything again and now the next thing is the play range uh, and you can somehow add this manually but the cooler thing here is this auto detection now it is enabled and here is piano and i just press here the button and it starts playing some notes and figuring out where it starts and ends so the range and you will then see that the range will change here takes a while per instrument so I will do this then for the first one then I pause the video because it's a little bit boring maybe but let's wait the first time and now it's a bit strange because it's still displaying the same thing here maybe it's I know that's that's okay. Um, the, the blue one you see that is because that's the middle range here. So if you click to the left, that is the, the low one, and that's the right one. So it doesn't play above here because yeah, that's the end. But here, the last one it works. So hopefully this is also in programs then correct. See. No, not. Oh. 
correctly. Ah, okay, so then uh, delete it here again. And means you have to first do this uh, range detection and then copy down to user bank. Okay, that's okay. Now it should fit, hopefully. See, last one is a C. Yep, and here. Also, oh, I don't know why I don't hear anything. Oops. Maybe that doesn't work here, the sound. That's fine. So I will pause the video now and do it for the rest. So, okay, recording continues. And so, um, a side word, because um, it is important how to save those informations. And one that is also new to me, thank you to the uh, forum and the guys who, or the one guy who answered this to me, is you can save this instrument entry here in the rec. Uh, by clicking this magic one uh, strange button and say save preset and put it in, uh, yeah, give it a name. And if you want to save the look uh, or not the file, if you want to save the file, here's also show preset in explorer. So, cause if you remove this one here, it's gone. Yeah, and. So, and it could be a lot of work to assign the right instruments here. And the um, description here, you can also save as. So if you did this um, assignments, that takes a lot of work. Maybe it's wise to store it. So let's close thing here and let's use the instruments. I remove this default one. I'm going to insert a new one and here I have to select that I want to use now the contact arc two and we start with the piano. Yeah, I think yeah, it's there. And the others as well. I'm not sure why it displays here this wrong range or no no it's just was wrong selected here by the view. Fine, however, correct. And the last one. Okay, so I draw a lot of nonsense now just to you it's playing the right sound you hear it already in the background oh here it's playing also a string that does not oh no it just took a while and yeah so we play the whole stupid thing together Uh, of course, if you want to see that in, um, we can also pr press here the button to show the contact instruments. Come on, where is it? Right here, it's coming. And here you see it's playing the right instruments here from contact. So, oh, let's stop this nonsense. And. Just to say again, uh, we're using at the moment channels. There's another way. So channels, you have the limitation of 16 channels. Um, so it depends on you. Uh, it has one benefit. You see those um, instruments here and you can follow it a little bit and make adjustments. In a different video, I can show you, but I didn't test this so far, uh, but it should work, how to use programs. 
then you have a lot of more instruments you can use. Okay, thank you very much and see you next time.